beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see that it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed and stay blessed The ability to compel the ideology of a man, the ideology of a people, the ideology of a territory, the ability to compel the ideology of a territory to bend towards a particular direction without using human force and cruelty is called influence if i'm able to do something to you that compels you to adjust to my paradigm of thinking that's an influence i like the 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 uh, um, the um, poster that was created by the media department you see that match the, the matches one having the fire and all he needs to do is go close enough he will compel all the rest to catch that fire we call that influence the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies to institutionalize your ideology such that even those who do not agree with you will be compelled to walk in that reality this is what influence is the bible says it was noised abroad that jesus was in town and all kinds of people found themselves around those who didn't like him those who were critics those who were indifferent those who were passionately loyal for reasons they could not explain they found themselves the bible says he went up the mountain they still followed him that's influence listen the key to kingdom advancement is not just evangelism as we know the key to kingdom advancement is influence the ability to bring a territory under like a spell you bring a territory under an understanding you compel people to think in a certain way you compel the economy of a territory to operate in a certain trajectory it's called influence did you know that there is a level of influence you can exert on a territory such that even those who do not believe in God will be forced to adopt certain languages in their English because that becomes the language of communication it's called influence once upon a time there were no networks in Nigeria not one aside from Nitel but a communications company came and marketed a proposal and right now it has become an addiction people literally cry when their phones get missing and they are on their way to go and do welcome back they, they have they have influenced you so much they created a package called welcome back in other words when you run away i create a provision to come under my spell now that's influence there are people in the village who cannot spell jesus but they know coca-cola influence 
tribe in the world knows Coca-Cola. The name is Coca-Cola. No tribe calls anything by their own. It's called Coca-Cola. The three most influential names, brands, right, in the world, although it's been upgraded now. Number one is Jesus. Number two, Michael Jackson, before he died. Number three, Coca-Cola. Think about that. Right now, the most influential brand in the world is Google. Apple, followed by Google. The kingdom of God will have to ascend in such a way and a manner that it will no longer just be one-on-one -on -one evangelism. The territory forces people. All roads must lead to the cross. All roads, no matter how people try to do it. We come to a point where our thoughts become that which is aligned to the kingdom. The songs become that which is aligned to the kingdom. If they must crack any joke, it must have a paradigm with the kingdom. You won't do see the difference between the Holy Spirit and Saddam Hussein is this: both of them try to exact influence, but one brings his influence with physical threats. Are we together? But the Holy Ghost reveals to you the excellency of his way. Are you getting the point now? He shows you the all-surpassing superiority of walking with him. There is a level. Give us Micah chapter 4, please. 1 and 2, and then I begin to explain to us very quickly the things that the Lord has put in my heart. Micah chapter 4, 1 and 2. It's a scripture that speaks powerfully about the prophetic state of the church. Can we read it together? One to read. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills. It says, and people shall what? Flow to it. Listen. He never said they would call the people. Look at this. He never said they will call the people. Something will happen upon that mountain that will force people, literally. It's a compelling power. They will flow to it. He says, and how many nations? Please help me. How many nations? He says, and many nations shall come and say, come, let us go. Where will the evangelism happen? Among themselves. An ability will make them to start drawing themselves and say, come, let us go up. To the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob he says and he will what teach us he will change our mindsets he will adjust our ideologies he says and we will walk in his path for the Lord shall go forth from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem this is what will happen let me tell you the church is not a weakling there is an energy and the ability of the ecclesia God's very church we will arise in a mighty way and shock creation. The key is not to take the world. I see a lot of people dreaming and say, I'm going to take every world. I tell them, that's not how. When God says you will take over the earth, the key is to create a prototype of your agenda in a territory. That's the key. The kingdom always spreads like a seed. There are people who have not done well where God, where they are domiciled, and they are thinking of, no, 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 no. The key is to plant a prototype of your ideology. And that becomes the platform, the template from which you will influence other territories. You must. Jesus Christ came to Israel, Jerusalem, created a prototype of his life. And then compelled certain people called the sent ones. And began to send them through regions. So everywhere they went, they were envoys of those ideologies. Backed up by the government that sent them. This is the key to strategic kingdom advancement. Let me tell you something. It's not just by traveling, planting a church in London, UK. There's a time and a place for that. But the greatest key to maximum influence is to be able to represent the ideology of, a, of the Christ so strategically in a region that every other region can look at it as a template. That's how Hillsong spread abroad. They stood in Australia and did something so striking. 
this year zaria will be a place of pilgrimage i tell you you will see week after the same way you go to jerusalem write this down you will see people trooping in just waiting because it is the mountain of the lord the place where god has chosen to build his habitation it's an election of grace Are we together? Isaiah chapter 60. Let's start from verse 1, but my focus is 3. Isaiah 60. Arise, he says, shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you verse 2 for behold darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people he says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen listen listen let me tell you something don't ever let anything you read on the newspaper scare you this year god has shown me this year it's a glorious year for the church write it down Believe me, I'm telling you, it's, it's not a, it, it has never been a thing of confusion about the drop in oil price and all of these things. This is something we said years ago and we're insulted for it. But let me tell you, you will see the glory of the church emerge. See, Satan moves by ministering fear. Fear is a spirit. Are we together now? And the Bible tells us that as a man thinketh, so he is. And so the media, while in a, in, in a state of sincerity to address what they call the state of the nation have gone to market an ideology that makes people think oh this year I don't know about you but this year is a year for me of multiplied grace and influence the Bible says when you see darkness start rejoicing it's a sign there will be a separation this year like Egypt and Goshen that on one side there was darkness but then on another side, they were not even aware of what was happening. Ah, don't call what they call conspiracy, conspiracy. He said, when men say, that means you are not men. When men say, there is a casting down. Those who have been altered by ability of the spirit will say there is a lifting up. I refuse to make any declaration that is against the word of God. No government, no newspaper will deceive me into agreeing with the agenda of darkness for behold the darkness shall cover the earth listen it says and gross darkness the people but upon but the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you oh hallelujah let's read verse 3 this is my scripture goodness it says and gentiles shall what stop it didn't say I will go and call them Makatala Bakosotaya. Something will happen upon my life this year. The wisdom of the Spirit, the multiplication of His grace, He said it will compel Gentiles. They will come by themselves. Gentiles will come not to you, to your light. Something you carry will compel attention. It has nothing to do with whether they like you or not. There is a level of prosperity you can enter. There is a level of the anointing. Access to the dimensions of the spirit. It will compel nations to come. And then it gets better. It says, and their kings. Those that represent governments. Those that represent mountains. It says their kings will come. Your light will start rising. Listen, was it not in your Bible? When Solomon's glory started rising, every other person came, but the queen of Sheba refused to come. She had her pride, but that light was so bright, the queen of Sheba had to take gifts and come and say, who is this Solomon? Listen, the Bible says when she came to Solomon, she saw the arrangement of his table and saw everything. She said half of what was told me. He said, I was not told half of what I'm seeing now. He said when she saw everything, there was no spirit in her. 
It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Shake up on a bottle of us. It's God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Mm, we are believers in this place. We are believers in this place. Listen, this is the year you must take God seriously. When God speaks, he's not your lecturer, he's not suggesting. When God speaks, he's not your boss in office. When God speaks, he looks at himself first, whether he can defend what he's about to say, and then he will say it. He speaks on the strength of his might. Have you not read that God looked in heaven to find who was greater than him? Because he wanted to make a dangerous statement that he could not lie. So he was looking for a witness that was greater than him. And not finding any, he swore by himself. What is our expectation in this season? Some of these things I'm going to be reading out were the exact words of the Lord as it came to me. The Lord told me that in this season, he will be granting us supernatural access to the following. Please write. Supernatural access to number one, revelations. There will be a depth of revelation. We will break into a spiritual fountain of revelation. Hallelujah. And this is the scripture of the Lord in fact it, it was before the scripture came it was an impression upon my heart and the bible tells us remember in scripture listen please remember in scripture when the bible says two men at a place called emmaus they were walking and jesus was with them but they did not know he was the one that the word is near you does not mean you understand it that you are reading it they were with jesus the christ the living word the resurrected christ he was walking with them but they did not know he was the one listen many people just carry bible and think they are growing spiritually others think because they are looking at it they convince themselves that they are growing others have memory verses and crime verses which is not bad but they think because of it is a sign that they are growing and the bible says when they were at table he broke the bread and their eyes were open listen this is the year god will give us access to light light illumination illumination it says you will arise and shine for your light is come not because you are tired of sitting down there is a light that god will give you that will drive out certain darkness in your life forever forever he will give us access to anointings there are graces there are abilities of the spirit brothers and sisters please hear me there is nobody who is doing great things for god who does it by the strength of the flesh no no there is an anointing that is responsible for every result you see in the kingdom there is an anointing it's not about struggling there is a grace your own labor is to enter that dimension but once you are there you are there are we together there is a level of grace that god wants to multiply in your life not just please personalize this thing i'm taking out time to teach it because i want you to believe it you must believe that in my life there is a level of grace there is a level of the anointing the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference it doesn't make the difference the anointing is the difference a handkerchief with the anointing upon all of a sudden becomes supernatural a donkey with an anointing upon it all of a sudden becomes a prophet oh come on the anointing is 
never trivialize the anointing and the effect of it in your life there are doors only certain kinds of graces can open are we together we must believe God to multiply anointings in our lives God will give us access to people very important God will give us access to resources God will give us access to opportunities to the end that we will birth greater levels of salvation encounters transformation and revival he will supply all these things to the end that will be able to birth through the spirit greater levels of salvation greater levels of encounters greater levels of transformation greater levels of revival there's an army rising up there's an army rising up in this very season there's an army rising up they will break every chain break every chain they will break every chain break every chain please write it down quickly there are five areas that I want us to focus on this year please listen five areas very quickly for us to maximize the prophetic word that the Lord has given there are five areas that the Lord would want us to focus and pay attention number one on our spiritual growth the first area of focus that you must contend in the spirit that there must be multiplication of grace is on your spiritual growth please listen this year there will be multiplied grace for notable spiritual progress are, are you listening to me that you can look by december and know that you 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 entered a dimension in the spirit there must be notable spiritual growth in your life this year please make sure you write it down god is releasing grace for notable spiritual growth you must increase your passion for god i'm teaching you how to maximize the demands on your own part you must you must take advantage of this grace and increase your passion for god increase your passion for the things of god and increase your passion for the house of god this is not the year where you miss koinonia anyhow for reasons say there was rain or oh my cloth there was no iron to i no 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 there must be a desperation for god a desperation for the things of god a desperation for the house of god it was david that said i'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house have you read that scripture that he so passionately loved the house of god listen the foundation of the quality experience of the prophetic word of the Lord this year is hinged upon your increased passion for God God told me something and I'm going to say it exactly as he said this is what he said he said tell my people to give me time and take me seriously I wrote it down tell my people to give me time God is asking for time this year listen because all you have in your life is time Whoever you give your time to, you have given your life to. So don't say you have given your life to God and not give him time. This is not the year of miserly time. You, you, you sleep for 10 hours, use 10 hours watching films, which is all right. But this is the year you must invest in his presence. Invest in his presence like a business and see the returns that comes from you. increase passion for God your passion must increase for spiritual activities prayer and fasting the study of the word 
this is not the year for laziness is God speaking to us your prayer life must jack back if, if, if you know your prayer life is dying please don't let anybody deceive you there is trouble are we together if anything that attacks your prayer life in 2016 is the greatest attack from the kingdom of darkness men ought always to pray Luke 18 verse 1 he spake a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint prayer is the place where people generate strength and capacity you can know when a man has the absence of prayer there is nothing that can replace the energy that prayer brings please give God time tell your neighbor give God time this year talk to him talk to him seriously give God time it's a strong admonition say give God time in 2016 don't be busy looking for money running around looking for money looking for job thank God for those things there is a place for them but brothers and sisters I call you to a place where you will hit the jackpot for this year invest in his presence the presence of God will give you what money will never give you I know we used to nod when I say but many of us don't believe it his presence Prayer and fasting. Don't eat away your destiny this year. Prayer and fasting. Quality fasting done with revelation, not compulsion to prove to people. No, 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 no. Don't allow religion to destroy you this year. But you must pray. Brothers and sisters, maximize your night time. I've taught you this thing. It's just that many, you see, Ba many of us don't take seriously the word of the lord that comes if you are obedient to the truth of god's word you'll be amazed to see the results in your life maximize your night times i have learned this is a mystery of tremendous spiritual power the bible says and the evening came and the morning he never mentioned morning before evening there is a mystery of the night time you are alone with worship even if it's for 30 minutes people are snoring around and you are praying lord i establish realities i command my morning i decree and declare it's my year of supernatural influence it's my year of multiplied grace and you are speaking and inspiration is coming and you are writing you soak yourself in worship you create like a spiritual magnetic field you get up in the morning and you are compelling things that people cannot understand do you not know that the morning is like a woman that has a womb? Go and read your Bible. It was a prophet that let us know that things can be planted in the womb of the morning. He gives the morning the character of a woman. And just like a man plants a seed in the womb of his wife and expects her to deliver, the delivery time is your daytime. The night is when you impregnate your day with prophecy. And allow it to deliver to you realities many people let me tell you the engine room of real power is to pray your secret place especially night prayers and you walk in the morning and you encounter miracles and breakthroughs he told job has thou commanded thy morning not has thou commanded thy night hallelujah This year, you must invest in quality teaching and materials. Please. Get all the koinonia messages you can. Some of us pride ourselves around distributing koinonia messages to people, which is very good, but never listen to it ourselves. You carry it around and you are happy to be a, a, an, a, an evangelist. You are distributing it around. Ah, you mean you know Apostle? Ah, ah Apostle, I can't even call him now. You are busy marketing which is okay but you are dying don't forget the bible says let it not be that i haven't preached i myself god knows how many times i sit down and soak in koinonia messages i'm blasting in tongues and listening to them and where apostle joshua selman is prophesying i get down on my knees and i'm receiving it for my life please 
your destiny seriously there is a message for everything every major thing you are looking for you find out that the flesh is growing in you there is a message locate one flog yourself back to alignment you are dying spiritually find a message you are having one a get miracle service message and fast forward it to the place where prophecy started and see please engage the word this year tell your neighbor engage the word do it engage the word the same way you engage a man in a conversation put pressure on the word to produce results for you don't sit down and say oh, if god wants it to work i've been doing it no you are not work it work it work out your salvation with fear and trembling so your spiritual life i'm determined this year that my spiritual life will enter a dimension that has never been god has shown me the possibilities he can go with me if i'm if i'm interested and he asked me whether i'm interested what do you think my answer is my goodness lead me lord i will follow lead me lord i will go you have called me and i will answer lead me lord i will go god is calling us to a higher level never be satisfied with where you are are you hearing what i'm saying please write it down write it i refuse to be satisfied with where i am i know you've seen some results in your spiritual life you've seen the prophetic grace you've seen uh, an anointing you've seen some level of result but it's child's play compared to where god wants to take you if you are interested and you stay true with god he will surprise you this year James chapter 4 verse 8 says that when we draw near to him, he says he will draw near to us. When you draw near to him, you must take that step with expectation. The second area of focus this year for us to maximize this prophetic word is the area of mental transformation. Mental transformation. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Listen, listen. I've taught us again and again that the quality of a man's life is at the mercy of his ideology. This year, I want us to insist that we are going to lay aside every stumbling block we've held on to that is stopping us. Please, those outside, I hope we are listening. Can you shout hallelujah, those outside? Praise the Lord. Make sure that you pay the price take advantage of the grace of God and contend for transformation the Bible says and be not conformed to this world the Greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age be not conformed it says refuse it reject it reject their way of talking reject their behavior reject their way of responding to life it's a choice he says be not conformed to this world then he says but be ye transformed right transformed how by the renewing of your mind that's what the bible says that we are transformed not by wishing by the renewing of our minds focus on sustaining a renewed and transformed mind focus don't say it's like that everybody in your family th that poverty mindset must die a natural death this year you must reject it let them hate you no problem reject it don't let people carry their failure and bring it upon you as an impartation don't let anybody tell you financial prosperity is not important don't let anybody tell you doing well in your life is not important you never replace one dimension of kingdom progress for another you can know god and still be poor are we together you can be praying in tongues and still be a bad husband there must be balance that's the true church that is shown to us in revelations 19. you can listen to my message the full gospel i've always frowned at the 
exaggeration of the body of Christ emphasizing one truth to the detriment of another so I'm teaching you on spiritual growth and forgetting the fact that you have children to feed you have school fees to pay no God is not that kind of God there must be a balance he said come and I will show you the lamb's wife he said he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth no exaggeration that's the true church I will never be the preacher who will mislead you to emphasize one area of spiritual growth at the detriment of another. You will get balance so that it is okay to serve God and be rich. Are we together? It is okay to serve God and be a CEO and lead. We keep preaching all these um, religious messages in church that move people closer to God and draw them away from the world and then we become victims of the decisions of those who control these mountains. But in this season, we reject it. We are going like Daniels with the anointing of the spirit, but we will still enter the system. The great commission was go ye into the world, not carry a truck to the streets. That's all right. But he said, enter the system. Go ye into cosmos and influence it with an ideology. That's the gospel. But you can never rise above and beyond a transformed mind. Please believe me when I tell you your level of right, life right now is what your mindset has produced for you. This is uncomfortably true. You must believe it. There is something about your understanding that is keeping you where you are. From entitlement mentality that makes us believe it is government that should pay us, right? To those who believe that all they need to succeed in life is to get a job is that really true a job is wonderful i pray for you at the end of the service i'll pray for you but let me tell you a job cannot fund your assignment you know that right a job cannot build a house for you a job can only help you to barely survive exactly what satan wants barely survive so that you never hear god you never sow seeds you never give you are so busy making money you don't have time for the agenda of god i reject that kind of living in the name of jesus christ mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man oh god i'm i'm i'm, I'm strange to this kind of experience but god said the power of the highest that's how it will happen so don't sit down wondering will god really change my story Will God really wipe my tears? Are you kidding? You've forgotten the God who can change people. He said, by this time tomorrow, listen, I believe God. Oh, I told you in this year, make sure you insist on being a believer that I receive the word of God. Don't let the enemy come and steal the seed, which is the word of God. In January, we can all believe. Two weeks after now, you find a lot of people frowning at their convictions as though they were playing games in church mental transformation you must lay down wrong and limiting ideologies lay them down ideologies that let you think that you cannot be a leader where you are ideologies that train you to do things that are not consistent with the ways of god is devilish and you must lay it down My father is wicked. It's not only your father. Many fathers have been wicked. But people triumph through that wickedness. Are we together? Nobody likes me. You are not alone. You are never alone. You are plenty that people don't like. You have to stop giving excuses. Tell your neighbor. Say stop giving excuses. Stop explaining why you should not move forward. There are so many people. They will explain to you. If only I had space. I had a room to myself my prayer life will be back now that you don't have what will you do with the one that is there you must create a strategy i would have fasted but the truth is the way my nutrition is i'm not even sure it's not like i have i understand the program it's just as it comes no those things are flimsy excuses take away those limiting mindsets i live a very supernatural life i don't see impossibility in my life and I don't say it just as a, a, a way of motivation. I really do. I don't see impossibilities in my life. I'm only limited by the voice of the Spirit.
The Bible said, can two walk together except they be angry? You and the Holy Spirit cannot walk together if you don't agree with him. God is telling you, this is what I open up before you. Are you willing? And you say, Holy Spirit, it's just because you didn't grow up in my family. Uh, Lay your hands on your head and pray for one minute and say, Lord, everything that is resident in my mind that is not of you must give way. Please pray. Please pray. For as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. Please pray. Pray out every limiting belief. Oh, I believe God for anything. He can take me anywhere. He can lift me from the dunghill. This I believe. He can crown me with honor and glory. This I believe. He can bring an anointing in my life. I refuse to let my background limit me. I refuse to let the awareness of where I come from and what has happened in my life limit me. Those outside, are you praying? Lay your hands on your head. I reject it. Every negative mindset tying down my life. Every negative mindset tying down my business. Every negative mindset tying down my education. Are you praying? This is the year I call the devil a liar. I reject him. I reject him. I reject that word it's a choice I choose to believe God I choose to believe God hallelujah don't ever sit back and allow the devil destroy you listen everything you see did not just happen by mistake it takes a man to see what others are not seeing to go where others will not go this is the year don't let people talk you down and lie to you it will take your faith you must believe believe in God and commit yourself don't be afraid of making mistakes are you hearing what I'm saying don't be afraid of making mistakes don't live in this, this carefree world where everybody says, take it easy, and they kill you. God is inspiring you to start up a business that can bail your family. And people are saying, take it easy. You know the way Nigeria is well. Please, let me tell you something. If you, if you talk and live like them, you will die like them. Are we together? Somebody looks at you as a student and says, you are on 1.5. Are you aware of that? Yet every time you sleep, you see God doing great things in your life. How shall these things be? This is the year to believe. And one way to believe is to run away from all those naysayers. There are people who are negative by default. They are your enemies this year. Make sure you run away from them intentionally. You say, why are you running away from us? It's like you are running. It's not like I am running. I'm leaving you. I intend to grow. Listen, listen. All this loyalty to people who will destroy your life. We were childhood friends. So what? I intend to grow. Any man that is not seeing what I'm seeing should not be working with me. Are we together? Come, let me use you for it. Okay, you are your cameraman. Come. Watch this. Turn. All right, move forward. Let's all move forward. Go, go, go. Move forward. Look at this. His forward is not my forward. Are we together? We are all attempting to move forward. It just so happens that for some reason, he's unwilling to bend to my direction. I'm not your enemy. I'm just not going where you are going. I'm not saying where you are going is wrong. I'm just saying it's not my address. Are we together? Please. This is the year you must sustain courage to look at people and say, no, 
I, I'm not a musician. I'm not against your music ministry. But God didn't call me to sing. Please, don't force me to do Riaza when I'm sleeping. I'm a businessman. I love your music. May God anoint you. I will encourage you. When I make the money, I will support your album. But for now, let me focus. Listen, listen. I know we are laughing. You think I'm playing. This came out of the secret place. Days of intense fasting with full concentration. Not laughing around. It's amazing how many people never make it because of distraction. You're on your way going to do something. You are there singing. And God is saying, okay, I, I already prepared people. See, when you are not in your assigned place, you will always feel secondary. You will find everybody there and not find a space for yourself. You now get up and say, I'm into logistics. You want to be like Aaron. It's not working. Later you say, I think I like her. Look, settle down this year. Re-edit your mind and find where God has placed you and died there. Tell yourself, it is me die, I will die there. Stop escorting men visionlessly. Even as a pastor, this is the year to know exactly what God told you. Your assignment is not the Great Commission. Are we together? The Great Commission is for everybody. Settle and find what is the grace, what anointing. God, what did you tell me? Oh, oh, oh. Unto the Lord. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 Still on point two, let's hurry up. Lay aside wrong behavioral traits. We are still on that point two, mental transformation. First Peter 2 verse 1, please give it to us quickly. First Peter 2 verse 1. Anger, envy, pride, bitterness, dishonor, all these traits that have kept you down. This is the year you make up your mind, I'm not gossiping about people. Because I found out everybody I'm gossiping about has moved forward and left me alone. This year, I want to move forward. At least let somebody talk about me. The Bible says, wherefore? Doing what? Laying aside. Laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies and envies and what? Evil speaking. There are some people when you sit down close to them, five minutes your spirit is down. Because they, they have what we call evil speakings. Always bad news. Always what someone said. No, you must change. You must change. Anger, you must lay it aside this year. God opened a door, your anger closed it. God opened a door, your anger closed it. Your husband was coming, your anger drove him. Your wife was almost arriving, your anger sent her away. This year, make up your mind that anger will not destroy my destiny. There are people who, do, you were at the verge of breakthroughs, but this anger, rage, ha, that's how we are in our family. I ask my mother, we're all like that. When we're angry, just stay away, please. I want you to maximize this multiplied grace. The one you had last year, it has increased now. So there's no excuse. Maximize the grace and say no to anger. Because it will destroy you. Envy. Envy. You never do anything with your life. You watch people have results and you are looking for what they do. Let me tell you something about envy. It never affects the one who you are talking about or the one you are envious. It's, it's such a frustrating venture. It doesn't touch the... Pe even if it at least let it touch it it's better to fight directly fighting you sit down and tie yourself down and then the unfortunate thing is the bible says the part of the justice as a shining light so for how long will you hold it envy pride this year as a family of faith and as individuals we must run away from pride brothers and sisters pride is a killer are we together?
believing you can make it without God looking down on others, pushing people down to show you are successful. No. Lay it down. Bitterness. There are people who just say, I'm not happy. Why? I say, this world is a sad world. Hey, you have a long journey. A long journey to go. Say, I'm just sad. Why is everywhere like this? The place is moody. And the devil says, this is exactly what I'm looking for this year. I choose to be joyful. The Bible says rejoice always. It didn't say rejoice when you have money. Rejoice always. And in case you forget, again I say rejoice. Number three. The third area the Lord wants us to focus on is our health. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12 to 20. We don't have the time to read it. Our health. The Bible tells you authoritatively that your body is the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Everyone say it. Say my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Say one more time. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Listen. It honors God for you to take care of your body. Are we together? This year, the way you punished your body in 2015, you have to rethink this year. Are we together? It's very important. You must live a healthy and a balanced life. No laziness and no overstressing yourself. That's the balance. There are those who are sluggish and lazy. Spiritually, it flows down. Intellectually, it now culminates physically. Inertia for everything. It takes you two days to do what five minutes can do. Laziness is still an insult to the body. And then overstressing yourself. Hallelujah. When you read about the wealth revival, you will know that what killed the pioneer of the wealth revival was not necessarily any demonic attack. He literally stretched himself to death. No matter how busy you are, I believe that if I'm not mistaken, I probably will, may be one of the busiest people among us here. But you must still create time to rest. You may not have quantity of time, but you must have quality. Eat well. God is faithful. Please eat well this year. Don't punish yourself. You need to add one more ingredient that you just look and say, if I add this, no. What if you don't add it and you die? You see, you, you think intelligently. This year, please, please. We are at different levels, but pay serious attention to your health. When you really fall sick, you will find out that all you have is time and your life. Are we together? You can have all the money in this world if you play with your health. MOG, all the men of God here, listen, please. Find time to rest. Walk your life out, but rest. When you preach, they will mourn you for seven days and people will continue preaching. Are we together? I shared with you my story when the Lord delivered me and showed me, told me to look at the crucifix. And for the first time I realized I did not die for the world. No, my name is not Jesus. My name is Joshua Selman. The Hebrew Joshua means Jehoshua. Yes, Jesus, but I am not Jesus of Nazareth. My father was not a carpenter. And so I realized that I am an ambassador, not the Christ. So you must rest. One of the most comforting scriptures for me, because everything, once there's no scriptural backing, I don't believe it. It says, and God rested. Come on now. Not an angels, and God. Whether you call it sleeping or ceasing from work, I know that at that period, he didn't do anything. Do it. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It's not just the mind to walk, it's the mind to rest. How many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them, honestly, there's nothing wrong. They say, look, I know what, I'm the one feeling what is wrong. They say, there's nothing, we've checked. Just rest. And they go back and rest and they get up strong. Sleep is a mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sleep is a mystery. God used it 
to do a lot of things you can still advance the kingdom even as you rest it was in adam's sleep that eve came it was in jacob's sleep that he had a dream it was in joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with jesus sometimes after you have worshipped and run around sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you oh yes absolutely if jacob did not sleep he would never know that was the gate of heaven his senses were alive looking for breakthrough and sleep and he saw angels if sleep will give me an encounter i will sleep because i need it i need serious encounters this year if you don't see it when you are awake why don't you sleep eat well rest well your personal hygiene that's all right your personal hygiene i won't talk much here i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm one who intends to live long listen listen take care of yourself and your personal hygiene please don't say it does not matter do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body you live anyhow you wear clothes smelling sweat all around you don't care you just smell it and say is it too bad your neighbor smells and no no don't just laugh i have to say it i have the responsibility to say it i've told us about that bathing you do with three quarter bucket somebody as tall as me you run and enter and while you are talking in less than one your phone is ringing before it finishes ringing five or six times you are out <laughs> my brother you didn't bath I, I assure you you didn't bath if that's what you have been doing it must change your health food that has spoiled you are dear eat he said you are, I can still warm it if it has spot let it go we are still going to have miracle services but i'm saying we can minimize casualties for nothing <laughs> hallelujah number four number four please write number four the fourth area finances god wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 it's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances very quickly Deuteronomy 29 verse 9 I'd like us to read everyone please one to read what's the condition is a key keep therefore keep these words of this covenant and he said do them he didn't just say keep them in your jot and leave them there he said do them practice them in truth he says that you must prosper write the following to guide us through our finances number one set clear financial goals set clear financial goals this year and walk with the holy spirit to achieve them I want to be rich is a mirage you you'll never get blessed that way i want to be rich will never get you rich listen there is a mystery about writing and clarity the bible says, write the vision then it says make it plain what is your financial target don't, don't write foolish childish things i need one bill no 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 start gradually faith is not stupidity start gradually write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level don't say how will it come leave that that's not your business you get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come the bible says just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child nor the way of the wind you don't know how the wind comes you don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child is that not a mystery that a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months that seed becomes bones hard bones becomes teeth that can stay for for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave that's a mystery he said that one leave it to god your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman the remaining activity is god's work there are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand there is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of god 
trying to understand it will frustrate you brothers and sisters keep your own part and watch the miracle work out set clear financial goals what is your financial goal for this year as a ministry we have financial goals in my personal life i have financial goals you must set financial goals number two to experience that grace in your finances master the laws of favor and abundance master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance favor is a law preachers have said favor happens anyhow is a lie is a lie favor it is the the dispensing of favor that happens automatically favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced it may take time see i'm human i know that it's not easy but i'm telling you if you master those laws you have bailed yourself out from this mess that is eating up the earth master the laws of favor you can get the teachings financial dominion part one to four and the wealthy place part one to four please make sure you get this teaching sit with them sit with them understand what god has said and then practice the laws do them he said now that you know these things he said happy are you when you do them you've got to do them you've got to do them the laws of tithing i want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year your tithing please look up let me preach to you i want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in tithing first and foremost because you love the lord and second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life don't say i'm poor how much do i have how much do i give god that's your way out that's your way out never forget i already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision remember our teaching the wealthy place that your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes god to come and partner with you melchizedek the high priest received the tithe of abraham and did what he spoke the blessing over him and the bible says christ today is our melchizedek what was the office of melchizedek what was the function he received tithe and prophesied on the givers so jesus in that office of melchizedek receives your tithe and releases activates the blessing and i told you what the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits i don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation Remember, I taught us in James, I think 2.26 or so. It says, for as the body without the spirit, anything you do just from the flesh realm without a spirit component cannot work. That business without the spirit will die. Your family without the spirit will die. He said, for the body without the spirit is dead. So you must pay attention to practicing these laws when people in the shrine want to kill a man how do they do it they leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments is that true they invoke the spirit of that man you see it in nigerian films right and he appears that man is sleeping he's not even aware they called forth his spirit and separated it from his body and the spirit appeared in the shrine and then they gave the spirit instruction from today become unfaithful are we together from today become poor it's a programming 
upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way god operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the lord led me venga the lord led me to show you ten thousand another person said ten thousand people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it i must step into that climate that compels men i returned into this city i think two days ago as i was stepping in not even many people knew that i i, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that i was around as soon as i arrived it was like a force that started compelling people. Apostle, sir, are you around? I have a little gift for you. Someone brought hamper. Someone brought this. And I said, this thing works. It's not about announcing. Oh, 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 oh. hands on your head in one minute and prophesy and say i'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray i sensed an anointing that's why i was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy it's a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying i will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do i'm about to arise god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity. Aprata kataba ko soprekete, lekete keto ko sopredesh, and protas kapari adabalarabas. Hallelujah. Psalm one one two, please, very quickly. Psalm one one two. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on. Under finances. One is your tithing. Please be determined this year. That you are going to be serious. Discipline yourself. Don't think it's a gimmick by men of God. Don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around. Castigating men of God. Yes, I know that there are people who are driven whose God is their belly. But please, the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together. Don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2. Let's hurry up, media, help us. His seed shall be mighty. That's influence upon the earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3. I'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life. One to go. He says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure it forever. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Like the ark of God came upon the house of Oben Edom and he began to prosper. Within three months, Oben Edom's life changed just because the ark came upon.
upon his house. Your worship offerings don't come to the house of God empty handed. See, let me tell you. Let me tell you why many of us seem to be stranded in terms of having an offering to give or a worship offering. Because you are not a sower. The Bible says God gives seed to the sower. If you say, oh God, please, I don't want to come to your house just like that. Believe me, God gives seed to the sower. But you think when you hold that money, you are coming to give a man of God to enrich the man. No, I've told you, any man that truly fears God does not live off the resources of his members. He lives off his obedience to kingdom principles. It's a terrible thing to depend on your members to bless you. You are tied to their mood swings. The day they are ready to bless you. No. Let me trust God for myself. And believe in him as Jehovah Jireh. Your seeds of honor. I've shown you the mystery of sowing upwards. Look at me. When you sow downwards, you walk in divine health. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You don't sow downward to step into prosperity. You sow downwards to create a track record that will speak for you in the day of obscurity. But when you want to step into a level, you sow upwards. You must learn this. Don't sow carelessly. Don't just look around. You are not a habalist. Say, go and see beggars on the street and give five beggars money and your life will change. Please, we are not practicing shamanism. This is Christianity. Are we together? You must learn God's principles. Seeds of honor. Find people that carry graces and levels that you desire. So in, we call it sowing into an anointing. You are sowing into an anointing and it authorizes you to step into that possibility. Learn this. Learn this. Learn to sow into anointings that will lift you into that level. You must practice this consistently this year. finally kingdom building I call it kingdom investment Bishop Oyedepo used to shout this and say it with all his heart Kenneth Copeland would shout this again listen I'm telling you when you commit yourself to kingdom projects it will amaze you how God will step into your life how God will step into your life kingdom building is to find a need in the house of God and participate actively in meeting that need I want to encourage you this year that you must commit yourself find needs in the body of Christ workers your departments someone can sit down and say ah koinonia needs a wall clock three of us let's come together and buy for the house not Joshua Selman and you commit and God is watching you and you authorize increase in your life the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth he said there is he that withholdeth more than his meat I want to ask you a question did the body of Christ benefit from your resources last year that, that may explain why you are where you are financially may God never give me any money that his house will not benefit him I say it again may it never come to me any money that comes into my life that the house of God cannot benefit him is a cost to me I'm sharing with you very deep secrets that can open your heavens there are times that people bring seeds all kinds of seeds and while I'm excited God says uh uh this seed is for the house of God quietly with Jesus joy not grudgingly saying God said you is faithful was it yesterday or day before yesterday I was rejoicing someone sent the seed into my account I was smiling and the Lord told me internet transfer straight this ministry that ministry oh, God you are faithful you won't destroy me if I die I die in your hands Off it goes. let your finances be so flexible like Dr. Mike Murdoch who said that God can do business with you. I was discussing with a prof last year, one, one of our daddies in area A, and he spoke to me. He said, son, 
tell the Lord you want to be his treasurer. Ah, that's, that statement resonated in my head. That man sat me down and started discussing with me his work with God from childhood and how God had been faithful in his life and in his old age. He said, ask the Lord that he should make you his treasurer. Do you know what it means for God to make you his treasurer? Oh, God, make me your treasurer in 2016. Can God trust you with heaven's resources? Do you have the flexibility to release it when he makes demands? It's my own. It's my money. I worked for it. It's my sweat. No. But thou shall remember the Lord your God because you can forget thou shall remember the Lord your God he said for it is he that giveth thee power please give your way out of poverty this year sow your way out of poverty this year number five this is the last one and we'll pray relationships I want you to pay attention to this especially those outside please pay very close attention to what I'm saying I want you to invest this year invest in godly and healthy relationships do you know the reason why doors never open for many of us we don't have helpers in our lives there's nobody you have honored enough to remember you in the days of adversity there are people who don't have money but they never lack there is always someone they can cry to they are not somebody who remembers them in the days of pain listen money is not everything are you hearing what i'm saying believe me money is very important but money is not everything educate yourself enough to know that money does not do everything hallelujah went to the bank today with the protocol to collect my 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 atm my card had expired and i was going to collect it and one two one two I'm sure maybe one or two of them may even be here one two one two they just made things happen for us and within minutes we're out of that place the power of relationships relationships will give you what money cannot give you relationship will give you hectares of land that you don't have money to get are you hearing what i'm saying relationship will give you things there are people today who can stay in somebody's rented apartment and never pay because of relationship if you have to pay for everything in life is dangerous it will kill you relationships the key to relationship is honor and friendliness when you make people feel like idiots around you you will pay for it in the days to come are we together all that big man is him. I'm a big man. I'm this and that. No. You must learn to relate. Hallelujah. Ada is here. Many of you may not know him. They were part of what Aaron calls first, second generation ENI. That's him there. He came around. This guy used to wash my clothes, cook for me. He did this almost every day. That was his work. Oh. Believe me when I tell you this. It was marriage until he got married and he left. Do you think I will ever forget him? I would drop my last penny to see that he smiles. He's called blessed by association. How many of you remember that teaching? He and I, those days, blessed by association. I taught on the mystery on how people can enjoy the sweat of others because they have learned to connect. The Bible says God told Abraham to go out. He said, and Lot went with him. Just by going with Abraham, he was implicated to be blessed. He's called blessed by association. Who do you know today that can speak for you in high places? Don't say it does not matter. I learned this from my dad. My dad has mastered the art of keeping relationships. He knows almost everybody somewhere. If it's military, there must be a soldier that is his friend. Police, there must be somebody. That's a powerful life. They take you to police station, there's somebody who can advocate for you. Not to leave you to die there. You are going to the court, there is somebody who can speak for you. 
I pray for you. May God raise people this year that in any area there will be voices that will speak for you. Listen, we suffer needlessly in life because we have money but we do not have voices that speak for us. There's a business proposal. There are five of you having it. You have all the qualifications but you neglected relationships. Somebody you used to know who can now speak for you. You are anointed, but you ignored it. Because we pastors told you it's not important. Just pray and serve God. No, connect with people. You don't connect with people because they are perfect. Connect with them now before it becomes... Every day makes it more expensive to connect. Connect and have a testimony that you drank Gary together. Right? And you will be able to partake of their bounty. Destiny help us. You must look for these people and pray them into your life. Remember the Bible talk, it talks to us about Naaman. We talk a lot about Naaman but we forget the little maid who encouraged him. You know it was a little slave girl. She said there is a prophet. Please talk to the king to allow you. She persuaded him. And he went to Elisha. Elisha said go and bath. And he was angry. He said are there no other beautiful pools? And the lady begged him. When she pleaded with him, he went to bath and his destiny changed. Connect with people. Don't ignore people this year and say this one cannot speak English. We are the committee of beautiful girls. We are the committee of, of those who have we want. We are the handsome guys. We are the ones who are this. We are the ones who are intelligent. We are the ones who work in banks. We are the business moguls. That spirit cast it out this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Learn to connect with people. You don't know who is who. This world is a very small world. Very, very small world. I've gone to places and I've been amazed at people who I used to know and how they have been of tremendous help. You go somewhere and you are supposed to struggle and go through certain things and they facilitate it for you. When my international passport expired, one of our, he's a general, he's a, a, a chairman board of, of trustees. He went to, you know, just with his influence. I mean, this is a general now. This man drove me in his car by himself with army uniform. And I came out. People thought I was a general, so I was just smiling. <laughs> oh, this year, may you hang on somebody's success and smile through it. It mustn't always be your own. You can smile your way through relationships and they say yes you are just a parasite no problem at least i'm moving forward and he went there when the woman saw the way he was running around he just told me sit down i was embarrassed frankly he was running around doing everything and um, within 30 minutes my passport was uh, was ready something they anyway follow the protocol life is in stages don't go and force people in passport office and they throw you out and jail you but the point is, the woman looked at him and I prayed with her. Then, I think it was last year or year before last, we went to minister in uh, the Nigerian immigration, the, the immigration service in, in Abuja, their chapel. We now went to minister there and after I was done, I was greeting the people. Guess who I saw? That madam. She had been shifted. I looked at her and I said, ah, mommy, how are you? She was greeting me. She said, oh, I knew there was something about you. And I connected. I greeted her so well. So that if my passport expires again. <laughs> learn how to maintain relationships. See, listen. Please, we are, we are, we are praying now. I'm teaching you secrets that will really put you on top. There are people who don't have money. But they will never cry. You won't see their tears. There is always somebody. There is always somebody. Hallelujah. What has been your outlook about relationships? People in the world know how to keep this relationship. Have you seen somebody go to drink? No money. Yet he goes to the beer parlor. He even invites an wife. Is it not this joint? Immediately he enters. Ah, oh, got lucky. How are you there now? And sits down. Give him 10 minutes. Somebody he knows will come in. And he say, bros, no deal, no deal. And they just say, Abba, serve him. And he would drink and argue about football and argue about everything. Add pepper soup to it, belts and go back home. No money, but he had a capital called relationships. 
Hold the hands of your neighbor. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to say it again one more time. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. May your life never be such that you will go in the midst of people who you used to know, but there is nobody to help you. May that never be your testimony in Jesus' name. Please invest in healthy relationships. I'm telling you this. Invest in people are the conduits for miracles. Somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who can wipe your tears. It's amazing to see how close you are, how close you are to your miracle if you can just know who leads you there. Learn how to walk and live with people. That's the second point on that relationships. Hold on, Mike. Just pause. I want everybody to listen to what I want to say. Learn how to live and walk with people. The Bible says, he who wants friends must first show himself friendly. Please, you must learn how to live with people. Many of us are Christians, but we don't know how to live with people. Let me tell you what we want. A friend is not somebody who is you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A friend may be somebody who has similar ideologies, but it cannot be you. There are many of us, the only person who can relate with you is another you. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. That you are a friend to people does not mean that they don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean they are perfect in themselves. There are many of us, the lifespan of our friendship is three days. You must fight with somebody. And it's not necessarily an issue of demonic attack. It's just wisdom. You don't understand. Expect disappointment from friends. I don't say expect it in a negative way. I'm saying make room for it. Incorporate it as part. Expect betrayal. Expect anything and let it not surprise you when it happens. God can bring the greatest gold in your life in an imperfect vessel. If you know how to look beyond the flaws of men, you will find treasures in them that will change your life. I don't like this lady. She's a jealous lady, but she's intelligent and you need her intelligence. Why don't you ignore the jealousy? Are we together? I don't like this man. He's arrogant, but he's anointed. Why don't you quietly let him ignore the arrogance and open up your destiny and go? I don't like this woman. She's too pompous, but she has access to those you need. Please, learn how to walk with people. I've taught us here, but let me repeat for those who have come. The highest psychological need of any man, this is the key to friendship. The Lord taught me this. The highest psychological need of any man alive is the need to feel loved, to feel valued, and to feel appreciated. Never forget this. Leaders, incorporate this as you walk with people. Pastors, incorporate this. The extent to which comes Sam. The extent to which I make Sam feel loved and valued is the extent to which we become friends. Are we together? That does not mean I cannot rebuke him. That does not mean I cannot talk to him. But that he knows fundamentally that even when I rebuke him, I love him truly from my heart. Thank you, Sam. Are we together? Learn to make people feel comfortable around you. Don't fight people for sustaining ideologies that are different from you. You are not a member of this church. So don't come near me. We are a group of this. No, we are not a member of this. Your belief is this. You are from which church? I don't believe in your pastor. Okay, believe in the person. Relationships. God taught me this. I have seen it in my life. There are few things I pay for in my life. I am telling you this. And it's not because I'm a man of God. There are few things. Those who walk close to me know. There are few things I pay for in this life. There is always somebody somewhere. And it's just a call away. Do you know how you can help people? Influence is all about connecting with people that gives you access to platforms. Platforms. 
there are places I minister today I never I never would be able to minister but on the strength of healthy relationships there are people God has brought into my life today who will die to see me do well I mean die they will give their lives literally to see me do well do you have such people in your life if you don't have it you are poor if you don't have it you are poor invest in God don't just be bragging around and making people feel bad and you are moving around and looking at, no 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 the person you reject today will rise up faster than you ever imagined and let me tell you something you can change the future but you cannot change history people have memories like elephants you do something wrong after 10 years they will haunt you they don't know whether you have been born again in that 10 years or you've rededicated your life to christ they just say and see this stupid girl i remember her is that is she not the one she's the one and you are coming you are born again you are even a pastor now where a pastor's wife but carelessness of the past will haunt you and you will have to start explaining yourself no i've changed i know i was bad before use the opportunity now little things like fighting over seats to insulting people gossiping about people god is watching your destiny too is watching you must make sure you are friends to people everywhere i go i try to make the people feel honored i greet them have you learned something tonight relationships you want to see multiplied grace let there be multiplied relationships godly relationships you have to honor people you get up in the morning you greet your roommates good morning don't get up and say see if not for condition i won't be in this state you are not my mate at all you are not even my younger brother see please leave all those things don't use age to intimidate anybody you get up you be, and you when they greet you you reciprocate you don't sit down and say uh -huh. how are you good morning all this living your life to yourself i cook my food by myself i don't share with anybody i go to the market by myself you will leave destiny by yourself and that's when you will know how painful it is to ignore people you can have all the money but no access over three people called me today three people called me today to send names for jobs i don't need it three people i'm, I'm serious three people called me today and said ah there's there are some federal government jobs that are opening do you have a few people i said ah yes so i have people i said okay this one will give you one slot this one hurry up and do this it's called influence it's called influence that's what politicians do one letter can wipe your tears this is how miracles happen i'm teaching you wisdom you see me dwelling on this point because many of us have ignored relationships ignored relationships there are certain people that come from other university campuses and other places they come here and i see them i mark their face sometimes when i go around their regions to minister as people are trying to see me I, I look at their face and i say i remember are you not the one that did this bought me what they say yes sir and i say no 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 let this guy come follow us to our hotel room access i see him looking at his friends i paid the price i came and now i have to go may god give you influence this year yeah. access to people quality people in the name of jesus christ yeah. hallelujah the name of jesus christ access to people what you are looking for is in the hand of somebody don't look for that thing look for a relationship with him you will have access to it does a wife a, a good husband and a good wife does the wife really have to say, sorry, do I have a share in your inheritance? All she did was what? He got married to her. And he also partakes of it. Stop looking for people's money. Look for relationships. That's why many of us never get blessed. You come to a rich man and you are eyeing, you just hear making a call, say, eh, okay, transfer 15. Add five to it. And you're like, ah, we are in the right place. Don't allow that attitude to cheat you this year. Listen. I do my possible best to build relationship with people above money. I have met millionaires. I have met billionaires. God is my witness. I've never opened my mouth to say, give me one naira. Not because I may not need it. You kill relationships unnecessarily. 
when your motive is revealed to be wrong so pay the price it's not easy but as much as it's within your power focus on relationship not this there are people who come and meet a man of god they don't want relationship they just want anointing man of god i've heard of all the things you are doing and i need the same result and then they kneel down and raise one envelope they say i came with this as if I, you know you almost feel like telling them my brother please stand up and walk away because he would think something came upon him but nothing really happened it's just that sometimes when they disturb you you just do it so they will go but you and god know that nothing really happened relationship elijah had the sons of the prophet but elisha followed him and established a relationship finally how to walk in the prophetic world there are two laws i want you to never forget number one is the law of encounter it's changed my life i've taught us jeremiah 29 13 he says and ye will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart he says and ye shall seek me and find me is one powerful law that has worked in my life encounter is what births transformation when you encounter god when you encounter a dimension of him it will speak in your life please respect the law of encounter press for his presence press for his presence press for his presence allow people to run around and move around but stay I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on you Lord I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting I don't mind waiting on seek God with all your heart this year be be addicted to his presence don't just do it as a koinonia thing I told you God said tell them to give me time when you give God time he will reveal his glory in your life number two the law of honor this is the key for impartation honor honor let me talk for two minutes on honor Hebrews 7 verse 7 says and without contradiction the lesser listen God has already designed his system the lesser is blessed of the greater every dimension you want to enter is somebody's current experience if you know how to honor your way you will honor your way cheaply into anointings honor is so powerful it can bring the harvest of somebody into your life hallelujah i'm a product of many anointings i have mastered the law of honor you must learn this learn this honor your way into unbelievable dimensions of grace honor your way into people's lives honor your way into their anointings honor the house of god the bible says honor all men it says honor the king when you have that attitude of honor i'm telling you the sky will only be a starting point for you this year i've made up my mind to honor every grace i come across genuinely and truthfully that's why we provide buses it's a symbol of honor we spend a lot there but we will never stop because it's a seed of honor i don't know what graces you carry it's a privilege to be a preacher but it does not mean i am better than you there are people carrying graces here that i probably am praying for when i'm able to honor you by helping out to take you to your destination it's a seed of honor that will bring impartation it's a big secret in this ministry you honor people first from your heart not just through money money is important but the the principal way of honor is to esteem a man and esteem the grace he carries truly both the person and the office he represents not just office the person and the office 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There are many platforms that are available this year to bless us. The koinonia services are there. The school of ministry is there. The forms will be out immediately during the announcement. We will announce it right this night. The forms will be out. There are many platforms. Plunge into it. Don't be half-hearted. You will be cheated. If you are staying, plunge yourself and see what God does in your life. Please rise up on your feet and let's pray. Please participate in the prayer because there is a prophecy that I want to release on us. Lift up your voice and thank the Lord for this word. Supernatural grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Multiplied grace. Lift your voice inside and outside. Bless the Lord Almighty, the God of the heavens and the earth. Bless Him. It's a good year for the body of Christ. It's a good year for the body of Christ. It's a good year for Koinonia by the Spirit of the Living God. Mando protocosco preta catele poco to presca de bala da bala da bala da bala da bala. Shekata preca catele poco di da bala da bala. Hallelujah. Just three prayer points quickly. Prayer point number one. I like you to pray and say, Lord, I receive your word and I will run with it this year. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I receive it. I receive your word as a believer. I receive your word. Sheka bakata la poko soto preach. Mande kala cross kada bread na kaparia da bash. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, we receive your word. Shembre tos koto pra kata balada bash. But I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded. I am persuaded that He is able. He is able. Kapaka pros kata bana da bosh, rekata te kaposho pros kopari ada ba, embre tos kole pras kata ba, lekata kata pros koto bakari ada ba ada ba, embros koto shko pres kete bo koto ba, ke pros kete kete ba soto bakari ada ba ada ba, embros kete le koto pres kili ba 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 ba. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, make me addicted to your presence this year. That I will seek you. I will seek your word. I will seek prayer. I will seek your presence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, shake it back at Lord, I seek you this year like never before. Like never before. I seek you with all my heart, all my might, all my soul. Pray. Revival to my prayer life. Revival to my word study life. Give me encounter, so called supernatural visitations this year. Dreams, visions, encounters with the power of the Holy Ghost that will take me to a new dimension in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number three. Lord, this year will be a year of results. 
I must hold on to tangible evidences. Lift your voice. Results. This must be a year of results. Outside, are you praying? This must be a year of results. There must be proofs in my life. There must be evidences in my life. Miracles, signs, wonders. The demonstration of the power of God. The demonstration of the word of God. In my life, in my ministry, pray. In my business, in my education, in my family. There must be results in 2016. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results in the name of Jesus. There must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. In the name of Jesus, there must be results. Hallelujah. The Bible says, let your light shine before men that they may see it. When men see, there is a level of notable results. You can argue all kinds of things, but you can't argue results. It says that they may glorify your Father in heaven. The last prayer point, listen. Please, I want you to pray this with all your heart. Father, connect me to influential relationships this year. Just pray what I'm asking you to pray. Lift your voice. Connect me to men of influence across different strata. Men who will allow me ride on their success. Men who will allow me ride on their anointings. Men who will allow me ride on their influence. Men who will endorse me. Pray. Shekete koto sekete. Oh, send thou help to Zion, O great one. In the name of Jesus, send thou help to your people. Supernatural connections that will give you in one day the labor of other people's lifetime. Man of influence in every mountain. Man of influence in the government. Man of influence in finance man of influence in the educational realm oh god that in every area raise men to stand for me raise men to speak for me raise men to advocate for me make my life easy this year pray make my life easy this year as i serve you let there be ease in my life I rise upon the influence of many. I rise upon the strength of quality relationships, on common access, on common doors, on common resources, on common encounters. Hallelujah. Please, when you go back, I'd like all of you to listen to two teachings. Activating, I mean, um, activating breakthroughs. 
the ministry of destiny help us listen to it again no matter how many times you've listened to it and then listen to activating seasons of greatness sit on that teaching and cry your heart unto god hallelujah i want to prophesy over your life please i want you to believe it believe it many of us ignore the power of prophecy to our detriment listen you don't god created provision you don't have to struggle your way by yourself there are people that have been put strategically to help you you can reject the help to your detriment there are people who have traveled far and near there are whole families in this place travel distances and hours just to come some of you are within reach yet you will not open up your heart don't let people come and receive their blessings and go back and you are there just make up your mind the bible said by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt he said by a prophet they were preserved it's not human worship there may be exaggerations here and there but it does not prophecy is powerful it can frame your reality please i want you to believe it prophecy is very powerful this is the crux of the meeting tonight because it will give you direction listen let me tell you how prophecy works look up i know our time is gone but let me just use one example come anybody prophecy is like a charm listen when it is spoken it leaves as i'm speaking it's like a charm it comes upon you and creates an effect it makes things that should not have happened happen listen i told you the most superior the, of dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension the creative dimension of the prophetic is the most superior dimension the revelatory dimension is important it gives you direction and builds faith but the creative dimension is what is responsible for creating your reality i prophesied as i was commanded he said and there was a sound it's not like the sound was wrong it was never there prophecy called it prophecy calls things that be not as though they are lift your hands as i speak over your life father let there be results in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names i speak unto you an unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the holy ghost receive it right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen a dimension of unction that you have never functioned in in the name that is above all names i prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh i command it to be so in the spirit i command it to be so in the spirit i pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now or oh, in 2016 receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace Lord, we wait on you. 
That's what we've done with Koinonia. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait. My destiny. You are the only one who can open up my destiny. Take it high, Mike. Let me tell you. Look at me. At whatever level you are, just walk with him. You may have no iota of unction right now. Forget about anointing. Be foolish enough to hold him. Let him lead you. Let others go. Just walk with him. You may be behind, but brothers and sisters, there is an unction. He will put something upon your life that will shake the nations and take away the boastings of men. God is never too slow with men. Never too slow. If he's the one that kept you, know you are faster, faster than anything you can imagine. Faster. There are many arrogant pastors claiming that they want to do ministry, but they ignore him. They like human connection, but they leave him alone. I will never forget, years ago, the Spirit of God would keep me and said son never try to rush anything just walk with me just walk with me like he's telling someone now don't rush your life i know you think everybody has gone ahead of you don't rush that marriage don't rush that thing walk with him one day with him will cover 10 years of mistakes walk with him apostle i have no job just walk with him just walk with him. If you were working five years ago, all your salary put together would not be more than six million. Walk with him. Nice. The Holy Spirit. Fortunately, from next week, I'm starting a series. The Lord has allowed me to take a series. We're taking a series on the Holy Spirit. A complete, I will share with you very deep things that I've not shared with many people. The Holy Spirit you ignore him as a businessman because you believe you are intelligent I went to Harvard you ignore him as a father because you think I'm not a small child Hi. will I ever be able to leave him I know you are looking at me it's because I'm the I'm the part of the deal that is visible but behind me I'm not too smart to produce the results that you see. I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. There is one who is mighty. Mighty. There is an infinite wisdom behind everything you see. If it is the Lord's doing, remember, then it must be marvelous. If it's a man's doing, then it is natural, scientific. But the moment it becomes marvelous, it is the Lord's doing. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Hey. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Value is defined by scarcity.
university when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy for working with me I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to work with me then I give you an unction they may criticize you but you don't deny proofs brothers and sisters no sir I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things, but one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. Not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit. Ah. How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth? Just like that? How do you look at someone who is dead and bring the person back to life? There are people here now with situations that doctors have ridden you off. Even a charm cannot solve it. You need a commodity that is not available in the earth. I told you the anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. In a few minutes from now, 10 years problems will just leave. Just like that. No, 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 no. That's what happens when you value him. That's what happens. That's what happens. Listen, when you honor a man of God, you don't just honor a body. You honor the sacrifice. The sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility. Listen to me, all men are not equal. No, sir. It's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace are separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, 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 I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve. You didn't study everything. You had a degree in an area. Having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom. No, sir. That information is too small to define the quality of your life. Ministry. You need it. You want to succeed in life, you don't just need information, you need a person. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. It's grace and glory. I trust that God will initiate people into that dimension of grace, of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. The Holy Spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy. Seven people. 
Seven people. Seven people. Shalabran is Kalabi. Shabras Kelebra Call your people, oh God. It's an initiation into a dimension of intimacy. The sister outside, for he will be real to you. Real to you by his spirit. This is not an issue of jamboree. It's not an issue of feeling anointed. It's working with a person. It will make your life a wonder. A wonder. A wonder. He will make your life a wonder. He will not just give you anointing. He will walk with you. Walk with you. So you become an effulgence of that grace. Then you can say that which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have heard. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving me your Son and leaving your Spirit in your work in my life is done. I thank you. Oh, my Father, for giving me your Son and leading your Spirit and your work on earth. Please sit down if you can. The third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Please, I want you to be very sensitive. We'll soon arise to pray. Sensitive. Ah, I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lake. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Forever faithful towards me. Will always provide for me. Praise His mercy towards me. Praise Your way. allow the Holy Spirit flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit, Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle, it's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Shabrakatos kelabrande katai. Lekatekos sotopadia. Lift them, O oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. Lifting, lifting. He's raising you. 
raising you by his spirit raising you there is an unction that makes this possible raising you by his spirit I hope I'll be able to finish this the mysteries of the kingdom that's the third thing that you must seek to know not just the word of God not just Rema the mysteries there is a lady in overflow three one is here two is the one by the road three is the one by the empty land there is a lady overflow three the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon her please I want I want her to come overflow three I'm seeing like an arrow right from this building right down there please sit down let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk there are so many people you must access the mysteries of the kingdom everybody say mysteries a mystery is a secret code of operation the kingdom of God operates based on systems and you see these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power the first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles the second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship two dimensions of God's power so you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension the moment a principle is consistent with the character of God it will release a dimension of the power of God like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by God's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration you know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom but what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility because the Bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back but do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible are we together do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy yes you know that divine healing is a possibility but what controls it laying on of hands no no laying on of hands is just a channel the inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that are we together now you have to understand the power of God is released through light remember the scripture Habakkuk there was the hiding place of his power Are we together when you understand that you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them it doesn't even have to be a miracle service the very understanding you have will respond to a man's need the same way if I stand with you and I have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if I have tuberculosis and you stand near me must I believe in you to receive it no, listen to me carefully are we together now I'm standing close to you it vetoes whether I agree with you I can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if I can transfer sickness why can I not transfer health are you seeing that now that means I can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you life being the light of men you see that that's the concept of whatsoever is born of God not whosoever whatsoever is born of God 
can overcome. Not by jacking yourself. And understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit. Where you can walk in it. So you can come with a challenge. You can come with a sickness. Like some of you are here now trusting God. All kinds of impossible situations. They've told you it cannot be solved. They are right. Based on their understanding. This is a doctor. They are not wrong. Based on their understanding. But God's, God's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities. You see. He says with God. With God. Watch this. I've taught you. Alone it is impossible. But with God. With God. Alone I cannot call. But with my phone. With in partnership with God, all things, all things, all things are possible. I want you to look at the situation you came here with for the last time tonight. Because in the name of the Lord God of heaven, it will go. Mm. My assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe. Not the power that governs Nigeria. Not the power that governs UN. The power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know god number two that's redemption and everything that concerns god in the person of jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the holy spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding Number four, this is a mystery I believe that has been known by very few and I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body. The fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ. This strategy called the body of Christ the body of Christ is not just people. The body of Christ, many people say the body of Christ is not just a church. There are people. The body of Christ is not people. The body of Christ is a strategy. The only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia, the body of Christ. The body of Christ is not a people. It's a strategy. That's why he said, I will build it. I will build it. He didn't say, I will make it. I will build it like a formula, like a plan. And I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it. There is a formation that the body of Christ is built. It is so formidable. The gate of hell can only touch members, not the body. The body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell. Are we together? Never forget this many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God 1 Corinthians 11 verse 30 remember for this cause many are weak many are sickly it is for these causes there is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God he said for this cause many are weak limited for this cause many are sickly and for this cause many sleep when was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body that's what killed him please pay attention get my teachings discerning the body that whole series you have to listen if you are in ministry here or you are a church leader a deacon you have to listen to it if not you will never rise a body has thou prepared for me it was prepared to be used a formidable strategy that beats hell hands down it's called the body of christ everything is available in the body listen carefully so if it is not available in your life it is available in the body you have to learn that any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of god it is only the possibility of my experience but that reality is available are we together now yes 
son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel said this is not a possibility within my frame of reality he says let me show you the body the body this body is a mystery it was built with a formula Christ being the chief cornerstone immediately after Christ two strange ministries the apostolic and the prophetic then the building rises you must follow that formula to be formidable it is the building of the body so when you see a man telling you you don't need any man in your life don't depend on any man it's only God they are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship but that's a destructive revelation that will kill you because please listen to my message I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study we'll begin to pray listen carefully I told you that there are mantles and there are systems. Remember the teaching? Yes. A system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization. It's called a system. So in every dispensation, there is a way and manner God wants to be known. And the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant your relationship with God your spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant so when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation he finds a man listen he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system. This is how the kingdom is. Abraham represents the system of the blessing. The journey of a believer's blessing starts from him. System. Are we together now? Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival. Elijah is not a man. Elijah is a system. I've taught you this. The first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah. Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord. The moment there is a visitation upon a people, Elijah must come. That's why Elijah is still alive. God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival, for the move of God, is called Elijah. It's a system. The man Elijah died, He's simply a man named after the system. The system continues. The Antichrist is a system, not just a person. You see that? Peter, a system that represents faith. Systems. On earth today, there are men who are not just human beings, but systems. When you trace the ministry of the Holy Spirit, it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth. Today, right now, it will end with Benny Hinn. You see that Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle. He's a system. He represents that possibility. No one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body. This is called the mystery of discerning the body. Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity. Start from any point in the world. You will start moving from mantle to mantle, grace to grace, and it will land back. There are many systems like that. You will never get this through prayer and fasting. No matter how you pray, God will lead you to those people. He will give you encounters, but he will lead you. There is a system I have provided. It is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities. How much of the body do you know? Imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body. Discerning the body is different from destiny helpers. Destiny helpers are not systems. Destiny helpers, they may not even be born again. They are just people that God anoints to help you get to your destiny. There are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial. He says even among the stars, one different from another in glory, not in shape. In glory hallelujah praise the Lord 
if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been healed since if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been blessed since many people want to be rich but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now i can't criticize papa Ia Deboy and bishop oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes is impossible carry posters everywhere it will not happen there is a system this is not publicity it's a spiritual reality so in honor of what they represent i am authorized to access that reality that's why you are here tonight let me tell you something listen carefully you see this thing you call koinonia koinonia is not a ministry koinonia is a system you have to believe this it's a system it's not a movement it's not a fellowship it's not a group it's a system it's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of God I, I want you to be very hopeful so that when you come you don't have to be afraid there is something about the atmosphere so no matter how far you are you have come to Mount Zion certain things happen this is not just some human bragging a man of God trying to shine his ministry no tonight you are standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in God please listen to me you are standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you're about to watch within the next few minutes is what I call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of God over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now. Hello, him of night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, him of night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, him of night. Thy kingdom.
Jesus, I believe your power is here. Let your power give me a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Let it end every captivity by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it break every burden in my life. standing everyone I want to make an altar call quickly right now everyone stand there are people here overflow one two three following us online in this place right now the Bible says this life is in his son you don't hear about the son and receive life you meet the son there are people standing here men and women scattered around you are a pastor leader deacon gentleman lady old young rich poor regardless of your status jesus said ye must be born again there are people here who have not met jesus we have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the holy spirit in this place you are here inside and outside you have heard what i said and whilst i was speaking the spirit of god the one we so honor was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happened somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we we'll do it I want you to come the first sets of people can come out when they come and here is full then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows just close to your projector but I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain right now one quickly quickly run to Jesus from the depth of your heart you can keep standing you don't have to lie down or kneel down God bless you you don't have to kneel down, madam. You can stand. Quickly. Two. Don't think about it. Run to Jesus. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. Man of God, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. I remember coming out for altar call one day but right now I'm not sure no if you are not sure you have to come out when a woman is pregnant she knows you are not sure join them something is wrong with what happened to you three are you coming apostle I'm trying to come out but my neighbor is stopping me we rebuke that spirit trying to stop you come out come to Jesus Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you. I think we have enough people inside now. Every other person that comes, just direct them to their various overflows outside. Those coming from outside, you can wait there now. In every moment, I'm away. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way me. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. You, you love Jesus Christ? Come. I'm seeing you. You are not working well. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with her? Who brought her? Because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain. Come. What's wrong with you? From where are you? Program. So she now called me that I should come and attend the program. So For I have diabetes and ulcer. And my back pain here, from the back here down to my legs. Everything. Yes. I'm feeling the pain very well. 
That is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here. So that is why I came here. Mommy, look at me. Every one of them, you heard what I said? Everyone will leave you here and you will go back to Abuja. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Of course, if it doesn't work, your sister will not ask you to come. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you people to pray. Join them to pray. We're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and all that devil will go. The ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing. The ultimate cure is Jesus. A man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says, Thy sins be forgiven. And people say, Ah, what is this? And Jesus said, Which is easier? Hi! That means to be healed is easier than to be saved. So it's not as easy. It's not just recitation. Are we together? Mama, I'll pray for you. Go back and join them. Those of you standing here, the overflow, lift your right hand and sincerely, you are not reciting a poem. From the depth of your heart, I want you to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. No, some of you are crying, but don't worry. Jesus sees your tears. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. You shed your blood for me. You rose again for me. And tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace. I receive your spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus. Victory is given to me over sin, over the flesh, and over the world in Jesus' name. Please keep your hands lifted. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of sin, the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today. The Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to do something for me very quickly. Please cooperate with all the people, um, whether outside any of the overflows. There is a gentleman waving his hands some um, of the... Uh, ushers there i want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam i will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we are waiting for them please make sure we are going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night and i want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes god it doesn't take time it only takes god very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of jesus Please be serious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every spirit, every force, every influence standing against God's word over my life, I declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shabratas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one. 
until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray Are you praying inside and outside? Thank you, Jesus. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent such a strong anointing in this place tonight lift your hands and just be silent please I'm seeing two numbers five and one and the Lord is saying there are 51 people here 51 people he's bringing massive deliverance to their families I want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of God that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve right now I release the ministry of angels Mighty deliverance right now. Bring them out. Shalabrakataya. Break it to Shubrata Kalabraska Labriana. Shapraska Tabrakatele Katia Labas. So break it, Ali Praska Bariata. Embreko to Shoto Pareketa. The fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. Shigala para koto soto balada. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty in God. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Second in Akata. Keep your hands lifted. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty young. Break forth down fountains of the deep. And we had us mighty on your I, Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus, 
I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I release upon it the power to perform. Those influences. In the name of Jesus, I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence, limiting the life of God's people. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep that you reign you reign you reign you reign you hallelujah now lift your hands jesus I'm seeing gates, gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be open by the unction of the Spirit. Gates be open. Ephata be open. The gate must open. Tonight is a miracle service. I prophesied the two lift gate be open. The two lift gate. Many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, I see gates, gates of destinies, gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft, gates over families. No progress, no results. I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Listen. Listen to me. A gate is what gives a man access. Access into a place. Access out of a place. The Bible says to open the doors of prison. There are men who are moving, but they are under prison. There's nothing, hear me. You may be here listening to me. There's nothing you do that works. No matter how you try, seek advice, it will not work. No matter what you do, you are not bad, you are not lazy, but there is a spirit. But right now, lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, one more time. I come against the spirit that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people, over the life of people. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. The name that is a key that opens the gate. One, two, three. I open it. I open it. I open it. Online, outside. Command it to open. I command it to open. Locked by ancestry. Locked by divination. Locked by necromancy and projection. Manipulation of the constellations. I command in the name of He that holds the key of David. I command that door be open. That no power can shut. Be sensitive tonight. The spirit of God is moving. One of the ushers, one of the ushers, you are an usher, but the unction of the spirit help her. Visiting your family. Visiting your family. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. I'm seeing a lady quickly. There's no time to speak. Our time is gone. We have to pray for the sick. But I'm seeing a lady. You have two sisters. Two of them are barren. They are married, no children. Please, where are you? It's part of your prayer request. You are wearing a black dress. You are the one? Come. Hello, Himadona. Thy kingdom come. I will be blessed. Ah, there's witchcraft in your family. Look at me. Come. You are a great lady, but there is terrible witchcraft in your family. There is a lady. Again, the Lord is opening my eyes. I don't know why this happens. I'm seeing a map. Benway. Benway. Benway people get ready. Benway. 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 I see Benway. And the Lord says, stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing of the Spirit visiting people. Benway. 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 By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Hear me? And I'm hearing in my spirit, break the covenant of motherhood. I don't know what this means, but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women. I arrest it right now. In the name of Jesus, I see fire dropping right now. People from Benway, you are from Benway, you come under this influence. Please help that. Yes. Benway, Benway, the spirit of the living God, the spirit of the living God, traveling to Benway, breaking covenant. I speak to the soil of that land, release the destinies tied with you. Listen, what I'm seeing is not good. The Lord is taking me to a vision and I'm standing and I'm seeing black ropes around trees. This is Otuko. Black ropes tied around trees. And the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands. At the count of three, may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded, I command it right now upon every shrine, every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Hallelujah. The supernatural, I've taught you, operates only in partnership with five elements. Listen. Without one or more of these elements, the supernatural cannot find expression. Guy, I'm seeing a wild, this is a serpent. I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again. I'm seeing a serpent. I stretch my hands. The Bible says, for the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Now listen carefully. Five elements of the supernatural. Number one is light the supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light number two the air sound the supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound number three the earth the earth is a universal point of contact every living thing makes contact with it number three are we together number four water the mystery that bears witness water is not an entity water is history Water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit. Contained within it are more mysteries than we understand. Number five, fire. A mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything. Purifies and destroys. Can make and kill. The only personality with the quality of fire is God. Can make a life and destroy. It would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing. Purify gold and destroy the impurities. 
I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural. Because everyone is standing on the ground. I want to pray for you. And the Lord is asking me to break delay. Please just follow me. We are coming to the sick people. But just follow me tonight. Let's walk circumspectly. I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down. They cannot move. You are here no matter what you do. There is no progress. This is the story of your family. Look at me. The Lord wants to visit you first. Even before your family. Your two sisters. They are married. No child. Are you married? You are not married. We have to pray. I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you. But God is raising you to be a savior in your family. Believe this thing. No. You may not look like it. But it is the spirit of Deborah. But first and foremost, you must be delivered first. God is not finished with her. I command that devil, go. There is no hiding in his presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God whom I serve, I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now. Over your sisters, over your life and over your family, I command them to be broken right now. I release upon you grace for restoration. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men. I release that grace upon you. I want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them. Even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh, the Lord comes for them with strange visitations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now all those under the anointing, I command the spirits. Any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims. Therefore, in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you know my voice. I represent his majesty. At the count of three, you must let them go now and forever. One, two, three, be gone. Go! Out of their lives, destinies, now and forever. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, I prophesy recovery. I prophesy recovery. I prophesy recovery. For when a thief is caught, he's made to pay back tenfold. I command recovery in the name of Jesus. Let them go. There is no hiding, for his light shines upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. If there is any project you are involved in, lift your hand. Any project. Business project, building project, please just lift your hands. Before I pray, we pray the prayer that will release speed. Projects. Ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place. And I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here. There is a visitation that is coming for the people here. Therefore, I stretch my hands. Lord, your will be done. I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release that unction and that grace. Everyone within this vicinity, let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough i want you to stand on the ground i see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen i want us to shout the name of jesus three times that's what the holy ghost is telling me 
I will lead you and you will shout it. The third time, the chains of delay and stagnation will, will break open. Many of you physically, physically you feel it happening. Thank you, Jesus. Let the word of God come upon this prophecy. Are you ready now? Number one. Are you ready? Number two. Now I want you to get ready. That grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run, overtaking the chariot of Ahaz. Speed and advancement is coming on people right now. Are you ready? Shout Jesus. Receive it now. Receive it now. Let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement. I command you to advance. I command you to move forward. I break limitations. I break limitations. Kapare keta shiata la bres kata bas kadali basata. I command advancement. Outside advancement. The overflows advancement. May that anointing hit you. Advancement. 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 Advancement in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. No power can stop you. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than men. Help me. Our God is healer, awesome. your hands towards me don't lift it up stretch it towards me there is there is going to be an activation of strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts strange gifts the time for impartation will come but fire is living and it's coming upon people and the Lord said let them stretch their hands in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back to you in the name of Jesus gifts 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 don't man gifts don't man gifts where is it I call it forth now don't man gifts don't man gifts you may not know it's there I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit I'm talking of potentials gifts gifts I stir it up right now like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gifts that will bring you honor. Gifts. So toko toko tope reke teke te. Gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gifts. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange, like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this row. Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer, and you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate me. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now. Inside. Inside. 
it's a strange miracle coming for that person the ninth row supernatural manifestation of the power of god my sister what do you want the lord to do in your life uh -uh. you are just generalizing huh i'm looking at you and then i'm seeing your heart and i'm seeing should i say it do you believe you can are you married huh where's your husband did you come with him what do you want the lord to do for him see this man is your real prayer that's that's you want the lord to honor him and what what is he doing now i'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place that has been your desire go and tell him that a man of god has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 I wish we had time today but we have to pray for the sick i want us to leave this very fast because i'm going to counsel well just leave her i found the person but but you come my dear i want to pray who is this no 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 no. it's not just any grace i pray for you my dear lift your hands god wants to visit your family there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ Keep your hands on her stomach. I end it now. I command that reproach taken from your life. In the name of Jesus. Don't come out for social reasons, but I'm seeing a lady here. You have suffered a very terrible infection. This is a, a woman issue. A terrible infection. This thing, you have treated it and done everything you know to do, but it has refused to go. This is witchcraft. It's not just a normal infection. You have spent your money. But right now, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that it comes to an end. Complete end. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete end. I stretch my hands. Four people. Right now here in this row. Lord, where are they? One is a lady. Three are gentlemen. Step into that dimension. That's right. Help them. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on. There is a mother here. God wants to wipe her tears. Madam, who is a gala here? Hold on. You are a gala. From where? From where? Okay. What is that? Is there a place like that in the gala land? Huh? In Kogi State. So that you don't come and tell us lies. If, if you are not from there, just wait. There is your turn to come. From... Lift your hands. I'm seeing an attack on your life and your family. And the Lord is with you free. Madam, where is your child? Did you come with your child? Finish. There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go. In the name of you free witchcraft now and on you right now jesus christ in the jesus christ lift your hand say after me in the name of jesus 
Say it in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Those outside, are you praying? Lift your voice and begin to pray. Kai, one of the things, listen, hold on. I'm seeing, now I want you to believe it. I just looked up and I started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room. Listen carefully. I just lifted, I wanted to move and I just lifted my eyes. And the Lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children. If you are standing in for barrenness, whether you are in any overflow, please come in. I want to minister to you by myself. Barrenness, only barrenness, please. Husband and wife, if you are standing for barrenness, except you are standing in for someone, if you are standing alone, you must be married. Praise God. If you are standing alone, you must be married. In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. You can go, you can go, Pastor Alpha. Now, we are going to pray. And while they are doing that, let's buy time. Ushers, move around all the overflows. Make sure you collect the request of everybody. I notice overflow three. There are few people attending to them there. So let's have people. You see why we need more ushers and we need more people. Say after me, Father. Father. Everyone shout it, Father. Father. We, receive we receive your visitation. In the name of Jesus. We receive miracles. Signs and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith and trust the power of god to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on friday whether you are standing in for someone, don't worry. The power of God is there to touch you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Do you know why I came here? Because I saw that this woman, your issue is not just healing. Hold on. I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport. And then I'm looking at it. And I saw a plane. Is it something like you were staying outside the country? Is that true? Yes. Because I'm seeing a woman, a plane bringing you is that true uh -uh. and the lord is opening my eyes i'm seeing another vision i'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you yes sir. he drove yes sir. from where from abroad where is abroad Qatar. from where where is he this is you yes. ah. one week. oh my god this is a baby look at me why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful. Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? No other man. We are together in abroad. We are together. I, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You see, I told you what God was saying about Benway. You you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So the he married me. another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. <laughs> He's staying abroad with her? Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby? Yes, sir. No, he, uh, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now said I should come see, back. Man, listen. This, this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now, I don't mean no disrespect. But you see why ladies will tell you people to marry people who are born again. Not just people who have money. Huh? Don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe, one bag, and just carry you around like that. It must be godly. Look at what this man did for this woman. One week and left her with this innocent child. So where are you staying now? I'm 
very night in Abuja. So my it's sister, from Abuja you came? Yes, sir. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman. Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife. Yes, And she still came and married. Yes, my dad is also yes, sir. Where's your dad? Yes. Daddy, yes. please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a burning state. You are suffering. Hi. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman, but she didn't look, if you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man. Now we went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now, if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby, when this baby becomes responsible, the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back. Then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid. You are using the baby to make to get power you see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of god you do anything to try to help this baby now you'll be in trouble are we together help me you're the god of awesome Praise to the your power The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now. They are not even, no, 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 no. I'm not seeing peace. Huh? I'm not seeing peace. I'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone. And then I'm seeing another man's text and the man is giving her a dirty slap, slap on her face. The Bible said what God has joined. What's his name? Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made Hadassah look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me? Because I'm seeing one mama coming to you in Abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody. She told you he's a man of God. He's a native doctor. Don't go anywhere. Huh? And number two, anybody that says you should bring one naira. What did I say? One naira for prayer. Just thank him and walk away. If, if this poor woman, you still collect money from her for prayer, then you must be a very wicked person, isn't it? In the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you walking? 
What do you want God to do in your life? Um, I'm a pastor, so when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to the, I mean, the things so tough, the, the attacks and the uh, foundation, it became so strong, so I took up. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him to. Where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? It's the mercy of God, it's not witchcraft. They would, you would have died like a chicken. Please listen, I'm not scaring you. But there are systems. Don't get up out of zeal and just say, I am anointed. Be careful. As powerless as Satan is, is your understanding that this depowers him. If you don't have that understanding, you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed. Praise the Lord. My brother, hold my hands. I'm not just seeing you doing ministry. Truly, you need help. Eh? You need help. After service, come and see this man, Pastor Alpha. Eh? After service, come and see him. He will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. A time of prophecy and activations. Some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction. In your ministries, your lives, your businesses. The prophetic word of God is very powerful. When there is grace back in it. Because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace I see a grace on two of you supernatural grace of the Holy Ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah Benga come grace for another dimension of fire lift your hands grace Fresh fire, fresh dimension, fresh fire, fresh dimension, fresh fire, fresh dimension. You speak and there is power of performance, power of performance, power of performance, power of performance. No word will be empty. You speak and there is grace and the power of performance. Hallelujah. Someone come and hold. Victor, come. Come and hold them. Um, somebody. Grace. Supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension. A dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. I open up that level. Grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Where shall they? We're rounding up. They are doing their. Please, someone hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. We have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that. Ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace to see. In the name of Jesus. Penny, you are taking back fresh fire, fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ fresh fire i'm not it's not like i'm just speaking people this is this is just by the spirit come the lord is bringing glory on you fresh fire even upon 
your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you see, hold on. We're out of time, but Pastor, house on the rock, come. You have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire. May that grace. Take it. Drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. I open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit under that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave, leave it there. In the name of Jesus. Judgment upon that devil. Foul spirit. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but I want you to receive. Let me start with the men of God. You are in ministry here. It's time to take something heavy and something genuine. Let me pray. Jamfa, come. Ejimi, come. I'm seeing it. A new, a truly new grace and a new wine. New grace. And a new one is supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. I open up. I open up. I open up. Closed fountains. I open up now. Closed fountains. I open up now. Fire. Fresh grace for influence. Influence, influence, business influence, new grace, new dimensions of wealth, influence, commanding miracles, strange miracles. Collect that child from hope. Collect that child from hope. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire hope. I activate that dimension. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of jesus where's aaron aaron where's aaron in the name of jesus christ the lord says i should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of jesus christ Something is coming strong. Go. The unction for new levels in ministry at the count of three. If you are here in ministry, there is a call of God upon your life. One, two, that fire comes now. Take that fire now. Take that fire. A new level of ministry, a new level of power. A new level of grace never to be buried never to be buried never to be buried never to be buried where's Yerima head of department media please come quickly quickly I'm praying where is he oh that's him there in the name of Jesus the Lord says he's bringing you honor untold honor untold honor by the spirit of the living God untold honor untold honor untold honor now I decree and declare Jordan where's Jordan Jordan bookstore I hear restoration where are you restoration fire that restoration fire in the name of Jesus everything the canker worm the palmer worm has stolen restoration in the name of Jesus now I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost the Spirit of God comes upon you and you begin to run like Elijah I prophesy speed receive it now receive it now speed 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 by the unction of the Spirit speed by the unction of the Spirit speed in the name of Jesus
Jesus. Hallelujah. Every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life. Receive of their ministry now. Receive of their ministry now. Receive of their ministry now. Where's Pastor Alpha's wife? Just hold her there. She's heavy. So in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying, have I not said I will bring you favor? It will manifest. God is bringing favor. After you give birth to your child, Pastor, your family will step into a strange level of favor. It will be at the commencement of this boy's birth or this child. The moment the child is born, in the name of Jesus Christ, there will be strange miracles. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I pray for you. The kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life, I declare, receive it now. Receive it right now. All your tithes, your giving, God has released the blessings, but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit. Jabakatos kebranda, lates kabreteka pariatos. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the spirit of the living God, go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. I say it again. Whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you, to make sure that you die, or any bad news from your family, I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you step into the month of May, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever had this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as zion travels she shall put forth a son i declare in one month this month of may a dimension of the ministry of the holy spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names. If they have never testified from January till now, I command testimonies from next month. I pray for those who are students. You wrote your exams, you cannot rest, you are afraid. Whatever went wrong, I change it now. Whatever went wrong, I change it now. I don't care what went wrong. I change it now. Anyone here trusting God for a job? By May Miracle Service, as surely as the God of heaven lives, may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job. And you are here, you are walking, and they've refused to promote you. Whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life, I pray now, I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them. The same way the stars fought for Deborah. I command the earth to fight them. I command their success to fight them.
anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your word life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism. it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with who he did not lift God who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore I speak to your life the God who has gloriously lifted this ministry. The God who by his spirit has helped us, given us a voice, connected us to over 44 nations of the earth, supernaturally by his spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus, wherever on the surface of the earth, your lifting is tied to, I decree and declare, Maraka dosh kalibre ketela tol. Mare doskopre teke labari atata. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your business. Whatever you do. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your ministry. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. They are taking for a prey and none say it restore. I say restore. I prophesy restore. In the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline